What is up guys? So today we're actually going to be doing some regional practice battles with some subs and uh, this is kind of going to be, well by the time you guys see this, uh, this will all have been pretty much old news at this point, but we are in the new setup. I'm going to go ahead and pop up the screen there and uh, we'll get into some of these battles. I have instructed uh, the subs that are battling me today to at least send a screenshot of their teams so I can kind of uh, go through and think about what we're actually going to be putting on our team and try to like theorize in my head about what we're going to be doing. Um, as you can see on my screen here, this is uh, the team that I'm rocking. I unfortunately do not have a Bastion on and kind of kind of holding me back just a little bit. So Steelix is taking the place of my Bastion on at the moment. Hopefully within the next few weeks, uh, right before regionals happens, I can get a lucky Bastion on because I'm still holding out for one. Uh, I haven't even evolved a single shield on. I do have shield on like that I could evolve. I just don't really want to spend the insane dust on it. So this is kind of what I'm rocking at the moment. And some thoughts on the team are actually, so Skarmory is just going to be uh, just an amazing resistor to a lot of different things. He does have a couple of counters that uh, do show up like Mel Metal. Uh, the Lantern actually can be a pretty big deal. Basically the electric types are going to be an issue. My Lantern, I'm actually running Charge Beam and uh, it's kind of for the uh, actual Skarmory matchup for me as I don't have too many options to actually go up against it. Azumarill, actually going to be running Ice Beam and Play Rough. And then Glalie actually is going to be running the Gyro Ball and Avalanche at the moment with Ice Shard. It's kind of like my anti-grass option that I have right now, considering that I do have three Pokemon weak to grass. I was kind of like, oh, I really need something to at least go decent up against the grass. So that's kind of what I've got at the moment. Then we do have Steelix taking place of the Bastiodon like we talked about. And we do have Metacham, of course, being the powerhouse that he is. Unfortunately, I do not have the power up punch so hopefully i can try to catch some people off guard with uh, the ice punch or the psychic uh, because a lot of people choose to not shield the very first charge move that they see from metacham so hopefully i can do that i do have one charge tm uh, hopefully i can get another one today but i kind of don't want to try risking it just yet all right so our first opponent is actually six seven kevin and looking at his team, I'll try to put it up on this board over here. Uh, looks like he's got the uh, Lolan Graveler, interesting, uh, Lantern, Bastiodon, Venusaur, Metacham, and Charizard. So he doesn't have the Azumarill, and he has at least one, depending on the moveset for Lantern, he could have two counters for that. The Alolan Graveler actually could do really good up against it considering uh, considering its fast move there. Um, hmm. So I feel like Steelix actually may be a pretty safe lead for me. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Skarmory actually. Skarmory would be a pretty good lead. Lantern, possibly a counter for Skarmory. And then Charizard, possibly a counter for Skarmory. Uh, probably going to be running Blast Burn, probably going to be a counter. So I definitely feel like Skarmory as a lead feels pretty okay right now. Well, no, because of Lolan Graveler. This is difficult. Let's actually try, no matter which way I cut it, it's basically going to be, it's going to be a, like a big tie. Glalie maybe? Glalie only has Charizard. Metachamp, yeah, Bastiodon's probably going to be pretty bad for that, too. Huh. Just going to have to throw something out. Let's actually try... Let's try the Lantern up front. We'll definitely bring in Skarmory for the Venusaur and the Metacham. Mm. Want to try Rock and Glalie here? I eh, should probably bring in Metacham. I don't know. He only has he only has two Pokemon weak to Metacham, so Metacham's not going to be as important here. What am I super weak to? That's going to be super weak to Venusaur. Let's just try that. All right. So starting with Lantern, he starts with Whizcash. Okay, that was. 
Okay, that was not in his original six, but we'll roll with it. So just gonna charge up some energy here. He's gonna have that mud bomb. It's gonna be super effective. Definitely don't wanna take damage from that. All right, so I've got my Thunderbolt. We're gonna go with Glalie here. I don't really have like, I guess the Skarmory would be okay for this scenario. Just gonna try to pump out some damage here. I don't need to use too many shields, especially if he tries to use Blizzard. Shouldn't really have to worry about that. Gonna go with the gyro ball. Try to do some decent damage. Anything. Okay, gyro ball is very underwhelming. That sucks. So I'm definitely not going to waste a shield on that. Gonna go Skarmory here, try to clean this up. Uh, he's gonna have the blizzard. No, only the mud bomb, okay. So not too worried about the mud bomb. And goes for the Charizard. Okay, good, good, good counter. Maybe wanted to have saved that. Gonna go with the Lantern here. Whip out with the, the good old Thunderbolt. Hoping to push a little bit of damage. Maybe pressure the shield. Got the shield. And let's see, he's gonna have Blast Burn. Oh, Dragon Claw, nice, nice. Not too much damage there. Still got pretty good energy gain here. Ooh. And he's got the Alolan Graveler. Come on with this Hydro Pump here. Yeah, so my Skarmory is gonna be in a real sticky situation. The Alolan Graveler goes down. Um, I don't know, I was, I was really like debating that in my head whether I wanted that or not. Probably, probably good that I saved it considering that he's probably gonna have Blast Burn. So there is first match out of the way. So let's make a quick change to his team. Doesn't look like he's got Lantern, probably gonna be Whizcash instead. Maybe wanna change up the Lantern. I mean, the Lantern did good. I feel like it was a really safe lead. Mm -hmm. So maybe stick with Lantern. I don't know whether I should go with Lantern or Azumarill. And here's the problem. This is my first bit of testing for the regionals. So I don't know. I don't know necessarily which one is going to be a better lead. Let's test out the Azumarill. And God, he's got the Charizard. Hmm. Let's let's go let's go this. Let's go like super duper meta right here. Let's try this out. The lantern. Okay, so he did say that uh, the lantern was a uh, a mistake. I mean the uh, the whiz cache was a mistake. He did say lantern was supposed to be in there. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna save that. Unfortunately, this round, I don't have a whole lot that's going to be good for this. He's got the Bastiodon. I'm just going to try to farm as much of this energy as I can. I want to see if I can maybe get a shield or two with the Ice Punch. Okay, cool. I definitely want to save the health on my Metacham here. See if I can get another shield out of him. Cool. I didn't get the other shield, but counter is going to be able to do enough damage here. Plus the ice punch is going to be uh, at least charged up here. We are shield. We do have one shield down. He's got the Venusaur. So he's going to have to shield this. Hopefully I charged up just enough to have Two ice punches ready. Not quite enough. Here we go, put some more shield pressure. Uh, 
Okay, easy peasy there. So I don't have any shields remaining, but I do have the Skarmory in the back for the Venusaur here, so not too worried. I'm gonna go with the good old Skarmory here. Hopefully kill before the next Frenzy. No, Frenzy just charges really, really fast. Fortunately, it's not very effective. And lastly, we have his Lantern here. So I'm just gonna try to spout out as much damage as I can because this Lantern is gonna wreck possibly both of my Pokemon. This Thunderbolt's gonna hurt. This one actually might be really, really close. Whew, yeah, you see how bad that was? So go for this Play Rough, hoping to do enough damage. Come on. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Can I beat it down? Whew, just barely, just barely. So, very, very close there. Um, so it does look like the uh, the first match, the Whizcash was an accidental pick. It does look like uh, supposed to be Lantern there, but no worries. We still got through it. All right, all right. So next battle is against Smokin' Phil, and looks like he's rocking Azumarill. Celio, Raichu, Lantern, Tropius, and Altaria. Whoo! A very, very interesting team. I am, I am super stoked for that. So, looks like Steelix may actually do a pretty good fair bit here. I'm assuming that Raichu probably is going to have the electric fast move, which makes Lantern probably have the water move. Celio is going to have ice. Tropius is going to have Razor Leaf. Hmm. <laughs> so I think I want to lead with... So he has two things that can counter Steelix. Three things that counter Steelix. Glalie actually might be a really safe pick here. Because Raichu is probably going to be the only one that can do super effective damage if it has Brick Break. Because I'm expecting Body Slam, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Water Pulse, one of the two. Um, yeah, let's 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 lead Glalie. We'll bring Skarmory. Do we need Skarmory for any of this? I don't think so. Um, Metacham, I don't foresee actually needing Metacham too much here either. He's got two flyers. The only one that Metacham is actually going to be good for is Celio, probably the uh, Raichu there as well. So let's actually go Azumarill instead of Metacham. So Azumarill is going to be able to do super effective damage to Tropius and Altaria, and then it's got neutral damage in the charge move area for everything else. Let's try it. So he started with the Celio, not a bad lead. We know Celio can do a pretty fair bit amount of damage. We're gonna be wanting to try to get this gyro ball off here. He's gonna have the body slam really early, not too worried about the body slam. We know it can do a fair bit amount of damage. Try to get off this gyro ball. Ba Boom! Go! There we go. Not really too worried about the extra body slam. And if he tries to use water damage, it's not going to be too bad. And if he uses, um, if he uses an ice move, it's not too bad either. So I'm going to let this go down. Yeah. Now we want to do Steelix considering he's got ice fast move. Looks like another body slam. It's really early, so probably another body slam. Yeah, kind of worried about the water pulse. Could be coming out. So we got the crunch there, Let's see what he brings. So he's got the Altaria, not too shabby for me. Again, his Altaria actually does do quite a bit of damage to 
the uh, the Steelix here. Punching that crunch there. Uh, no need. No need. Feel a okay not shielding that. We are both toting. Both she oh, okay. He shielded. There we go. So he wants that. Uh, he wants that Altaria to stay alive. I'm gonna go with our Azumarill here. And of course, there's no point in not shielding, considering it's my last Pokemon. That Dragon Pulse. That's a lot of energy there. I'm actually gonna save some of this energy as best as I can. See what he's got in his pocket. His Azumarill. Okay, so play rough, I guess. I don't know which move is gonna be better here. Gonna block. Yep, both play rough, except I now have enough for the Ice Beam. I guess we're gonna go with the Ice Beam here. I need to figure out which one of these is better to use in the mirror. Okay, Ice Beam was very <laughs> underwhelming. Holy cow. So we're pretty even on damage right now. Yeah, Play Rough definitely is uh, definitely the first choice. Should Probably going to lose this match because I didn't go with Play Rough there. He may have one more in him. Come on, Azumarill. You can tank it. You can tank it! Just barely, can I get to mine? Please, please, please! Oh, holy cow, holy cow. Oh my gosh, the slightest, slightest bit of health remaining on my Azumarill. Not freaking bad, man. All right, so back to the drawing board. That was a pretty good spread as far as what I had coverage for. Um, he does seem to like the Celio lead. Do I try to risk it? <laughs> Do I try to risk it here and like switch up everything? He doesn't have anything except for Tropius that I really feel like Skarmory is going to be good for. Skarmory does win in the Altaria, but it's really close. I'm not too big of a fan of it. Hmm. What am I super weak to here? I'd be pretty weak to the Altaria. Pretty weak to the Tropius. Maybe do like that. Since he only has Tropius as the grass attacker, I think I'd be okay with this. Although Raichu does pose a little bit of a problem for two out of the three. But then again, I don't really have anything to go up against the Raichu. Let's try it. Let's go with it. Lantern lead with the Celio lead. All right, called it there. So let's see how this does here. He's gonna get in some sweet body slam action. I'm actually gonna try to get a little head on my energy here um, to see if I can fire off two Thunderbolts back to back. That way I can try to hopefully pressure a lot of uh, the shield baiting situation. And we'll go now. We'll get this one off. Should shield, yeah. And then we should have one right next to this one. I'm not gonna shield, even though it's gonna put me really, really close, really close to death. I'm just gonna get off this last Thunderbolt and hopefully get rid of his other shield. Ah, very nice, very nice. So what you got for me? The Tropius, okay, not super worried about that. As we can bring out Glalie. And we can pretty much start to just eat away. Ooh, he does switch. He's got the Azumarill there. 
I'm not too big of a fan of throwing Steelix out on the Azumarill, honestly. We'll see what Gyro Ball can do. Again, not a lot. Um, just gonna gonna hold on to this. Ooh, it does quite a bit of damage. Come on, man. All right, we got our Steelix here. Okay, slight hiccup. So we are gonna shield. No reason not to at this point. And honestly, Razor Leaf is going to be way bigger of an issue rather than any of his charge moves from Tropius. So probably better to use the shields on the Azumarill rather than the actual Tropius here. Unfortunately, Steelix doesn't have a whole lot to go up against the Azumarill. Anything? Come on. Come on. Go. Do it. There you go. Is he still there? Is he frozen? I believe he may be frozen. So we did have a freezing issue, of course if you're not aware, one of the latest updates to Pokemon Go does introduce a awkward shield freezing situation whenever you actually shield. It just completely freezes your game. Um, if you're really interested, uh, look at Pokey AK's video. He does go over uh, some issues that he's had with it in the last couple of weeks. So I'm just going to run with the exact same team, uh, just trying to uh, basically make sure that this team can do something. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> he does go with the Tropius. So immediately going to switch out and I don't really have, I definitely should have went Glalie. That was an idiotic move. Very, very stupid. So he's got the Raichu here. He's going to have the Brick Break. I... <sighs> I want to hold off, see how much it's going to do. Okay, not too worried. So I'm going to throw out a crunch. See if uh, shield? No. Oh, yeah, I got a shield. And then we're going to shield this one. And then I'm going to immediately throw this earthquake. See if we can get that. He's either going to have to shield it, or he's going to lose this Raichu. Yeah, unfortunately. Down goes the Raichu. Yeah, that Tropius was a, a great Pokemon to have out. I'm not going to shield. There's no sense in it. Tropius is just going to tear through this. Not super worried there. Definitely want to go with the Glalie here, though. The Glalie should be able to put in quite a bit of work switches and goes with the Azumarill. So as we know, the Azumarill is going to be a pretty rough matchup for us. Let's go with the... Okay. I tried. I tried. <laughs> but yet again, I, I got blocked there. There we go. So we're going to go with the Lantern here. Going to be trying to... Okay. Trying to push the uh, the damage here. Play Rough still doing quite a bit more damage than I thought it would be. Ooh. He's saving that shield for that Tropius, but... The Glalie's just going to be able to, uh, to take it. Come on. Thank you. I was about to say, please let me do my charge move. So it's not going to do too much damage. Yep. Wasted the shield there. I'm okay with that. Ooh, this could be bad. Could be bad. Not too bad, though. So there's the avalanche. Should be okay. Ba-boom. There we go. Not too shabby. 
Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, I am gonna split this video in half. Um, already at like 25 minutes for this first video, so I didn't want to like drag it out too much further than that. Uh, I will do the part two. I'm probably just gonna upload it tomorrow. Um, just let them be back to back or something like that. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thanks so much for watching. Always remember that if you like to like videos, you can do that. If you don't, you can be that guy. But otherwise, let me know what you have to say down in the comments below. And until our next video, I will catch you then.